Here's an update on a story that was uh, actually a major development about two years ago when the judgment came through around the silicosis case. Mining activists say standard protocols followed when assessing miners who have fallen ill with TB and silicosis. That protocol, they are saying, is flawed. The Justice for Miners campaign says medical examinations by Tsiamiso Trust have been found to be compromised and that some miners Miners have been misdiagnosed. To tell us more, I'm joined now by Bishop Johannes Sioka uh, from the Justice for Miners campaign, uh, Civil Society Forum, and he joins me now for that conversation. So, Bishop, this is obviously a major um, issue and development because uh, that was a protracted litigation leading to that settlement, which uh, is quantified at about five billion rand uh, to compensate miners. Uh, who contracted silicosis and TB. Your observation as justice for minors is that there seems to be a problem in terms of the medical processes uh, for, for assessment. Yes, um, sir. Um, we have been very concerned about the work of uh, the Tiamiso Trust, particularly at medical examination uh, sites. And so yesterday, uh, two of our uh, activists, uh, a medical practitioner who advises us, and uh, his wife was an activist of uh, JFM, went to the site in Belcom, and only to find that all the things that ought to have been put in place are not in place. Uh, for instance, the lung function test was not done in a way that it should be done because um, it was incorrectly um, uh, done, the breathing and, and so on, without the presence of a medical practitioner. Uh, we found that uh, spirometry, which is a breathing um, a, a test function, uh, is of concern because uh, it is done, but without any uh, medical uh, professional being present, it's done by a, a, a trained uh, nurse, which is not what it is supposed to, to be. X-rays, uh, we found that uh, the um, um, X-rays were done by the um, practitioner that is supposed to do, uh, uh, do them, the radiographer. But of course, uh, the readings were not done by occupational medical practitioner. So he didn't look at the x-ray before the examination leaves the site, which means that diagnosis is likely to be wrong. As a result, the examinee leaves the site um, with half diagnosis of whether he's cirrhosis or to be um, or lung cancer that is affecting him. So we sure we're very concerned that um, what is being done there is not what is prescribed in the trust deed and what was agreed by the courts when they decided that so much um, money must be put aside yeah. for the uh, helping of the people. And For instance, Bishop, if I may I imagine, say this. Sorry, Bishop, if I can come in there, um, my sense is that you obviously are raising these issues, your concerns about the medical procedures that are being undertaken, not being up to scratch. I suspect you are raising them because there's a specific point that you want to make. Is the point that uh, there's misdiagnosis, which has implications for whether or not a person is considered to be a, a, a beneficiary uh, in terms of this trust um, because of the, you know, illness and disease that they contracted while working in the mines? Absolutely. For instance, if I may give you some very um, practical example, um, I'll call him Mr. V, has been compensated by the MBOD for second stage compensatable disease, confirmed by the minds of o o o OMP, a private OMP and a specialist physician, but and this man is very sick. He is receiving oxygen continuously, but um, he is um, found not to have been diagnosed properly. Um, he was uh, medically ineligible 
The Administrative Trust has not asked for a second specialist opinion, for instance, and therefore the person will be wrongly compensated. If I give you another example, uh, Mr. S was diagnosed as having a first degree silicosis by MBOD after being submitted by a doctor. In Uh, Bishop Sioka, I suspect you may have um, accidentally muted yourself on your side. I don't know what happened. I lost uh, audio uh, from your side. Yeah, I know. We, we do seem to have had a bit of a challenge, unfortunately, Bishop Sioka. I, I don't know what happened there. We'll have to see if we can carry this conversation forward. It's a bit of a pity uh, because he was really giving us examples uh, of the kind of misdiagnosis uh, that they've come across uh, as the Justice for Minors campaign. In fact, he was going through it very nicely, and we seem to have lost audio to him for one reason or another.